All right, so beer number two of evening three. Uh, so uh, six beers in uh, to the whatever it is, BBOC now. Um, the Whip Red 1850 London Porter, of course, by Hayden Brewer. Apologies, sir. Um, yeah. 62.5 IBUs, 6.2%. So I'm guessing um, it's majority um, uh, base malt or pale malt, um, um, some brown malt and black malt, and then probably uh, Fuggles or um, EKG um, off the top of my head. Don't know anything else about it. Uh, heard some good things though. So appreciate this. Always a pleasure trying one of Mr. Harry's beers. The Harry Brewer. No, it's the Heathen Brewer, isn't it? Oh. Rich and inviting. That's what that smells like. Cheers, buddy. in there. Lovely off-white head. Some chocolatey nuts. Maybe a touch of bitterness. Tell you what, you lads are absolutely fucking nailing this. That is delicious. However, I'd expect no less. There's some roast, but not much. It's mostly silky smooth. Apologies, I died there. Gonna have to do this quick. A touch of bitterness. I know there's a 60 or 2 odd on the bottle, but not too much to cut, not too much so that it's just all about the bitterness. Kind of just enough to round it off. It's not too sharp, kind of silky smooth finish, but just enough robust bitterness to um, finish it off. Lovely example of a porter in my opinion. Um, I know the malt miller, not malt miller do a, um, uh, a recipe of this. Be interested to know if that is the case, if that's what you've done or you've done your own. Um, if I managed to guess the recipe creation is right. And either way, mate, that's another cracking beer. I haven't had a bad beer from you yet. Um, so fucking keep them coming, buddy. Yeah. Cheers. Slide your bar. Hello, welcome to episode three of the BBOC 2020. I believe this is beer number five. Uh, much more up my traditional drinking street, uh, an Irish dry stout, 4.5% by the River View Brewery, which I believe is um, Justin Dean, although I've not checked um, Matt's BBOC info sheet, I probably should have. Um, this has uh, pretty standard stuff in it um, for, the, for the style, pale malt, flaked barley, roasted barley, chocolate malt. An hour of mash at 67 degrees, EKG 61 grams, which is a fair addition, uh, 70 minutes, 70 minute boil, uh, and the pretty standard 1084 W East Irish Ale. Uh, fermented at 18 degrees, conditioned for a minimum of four weeks at 12 degrees. Sounds good. It has been conditioned since mid-September 2020. It is keg conditioned. Pressure bottled via carbonation cap, pour with some confidence. Excellent. So this is... Typically what I would do um, with with this. Um, East Kent Goldings, um, actually identical to Canterbury Goldings, even though some people say it isn't. Um, apparently there's no info to suggest anything else. A little bit of hiss in now. Hmm. 
very much smells how you'd expect it to, being a, a, an Irish dry stout, typically a sort of going down the um, Guinness clone type route. Aroma of tiny essence of um, that sort of sweet honey edge that you would expect from uh, EKG. Just an edge of it though. Cheers, sir. Been looking forward to trying a beer of yours for some time. Well, maybe not quite that much confidence. That briefest of seconds where you think, have I been a bit too overconfident here? Am I going to fuck this up and pour beer all over the speaker? That smells superb. Slight earthiness, chocolate, burnt edges, honey, maybe like a darker treacle. Amazing. Do you want a flake with that, mate? You fucking love one. As black as my heart. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that is delightful. Mm. Oh, superb that, mate. What a fucking cracking job you've done of that. Lovely, and, and actually, I'm 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 delighted you've um um you you've been quite as confident with the with the hop as you have been because that that's spot on. That is, um, does it say what your IBUs are? Because that is bob on just enough. There's a there's a there's a a confident uh, bitterness. There's a confident bitterness there. There's a, a confident sort of chocolatey edge. Um, and you could quite happily put a flake in that and it'd go nowhere. Mm. Very dry. And loads of the earthy note actually in the head there. I'm pretty confident that's uh, uh, Justin Dean's alone. Let me fucking check. to mess that up it's here somewhere um yes i am right just indeed bob on that justin mate thank you very much um you've spoiled me actually because i've been looking forward to stuff like this and um, i was considering going this sort of way myself but i don't think i would have been able to do it as much justice as you have that is one of the best beers of the competition in my mind um Uh, doesn't have to be strong, doesn't have to be something funky or, or wild, um, however the, the, the confidence that he's put in the hops, I'm not sure if that's a standard um, uh, value of, of hop for uh, the amount that you've gone for, but I, I don't think I would have had uh, as much confidence to go for the 61 uh, grams as you have. Um, that is delicious, uh, dry, but there's a, there's a subtle a subtle um like honey uh <coughs> honey uh earthy edge to it which it has to be the the the, the kent goldings or the canterbury goldings however you're inclined um and there's enough chocolate and enough roast there but the kind of chocolate takes it away from that and then the hop bitterness kind of takes you away from that and the overall um palate sensation is dry but with everything else coming from before it, it that is cracking that mate yes 